inherent right. And on 9th November 2017, Dr. Joyce Moriku Kaduchu appeared on NTV's On the Spot talk show to discuss issues pertaining the then ongoing doctor's strike. The only concern I have there is that, uh, yes, that is really, we appreciate it, but probably we'll need to look at the schedules. A day later, Dr. Moriku was admitted at Mulago Hospital. According to State Minister for Health, Sarah Acheng Openi, doctors diagnosed her with food poisoning. Uh, thereafter, she was admitted at Platinum Hospital. And um, at Platinum at that time, um, we actually thought all was well and she was due to be discharged. Openi told NTV that Dr. Moriku later developed chest complications and had difficulty breathing. As a result of that, they thought maybe she could be having pneumonia and progressively the situation was getting bad and that's how she was referred to the intensive care, I mean to the international hospital. For a week now, Dr. Moriko has been under intensive care. She's actually closely being supervised by very qualified um, doctors, senior consultants. Today, Open visited her colleague at International Hospital Kampala. Can you describe exactly how you saw Joyce and the condition she was in? By the time I visited, she was sedated. And it's really for her comfort because, you know, having, being in intensive care is not something that is quite um, pleasing. There are plans to fly the former coordinator of the aid support organization, TASO, to Aga Khan Hospital in Nairobi for further tests and treatment. Uh, we were told that the, the Aga Khan was full and they could not accommodate her. However, this morning, just a few um, minutes ago, I've been talking to uh, the doctor who is actually closely uh, coordinating with the Aga Khan Hospital. And he has assured me that uh, they have, uh, there is one patient that is being discharged, so there is space. In order to confirm or eliminate the possibility that Dr. Moriku might have been poisoned, government has sent samples to South Africa for a toxicology analysis to establish the problem that continues to immobilize the minister. Government of Uganda is footing the medical bills. Minister Sarah Pendi said that there is no need of causing alarm, citing that the ministry is still waiting for a toxicology report from South Africa, which is expected to be coming out in a week. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV, Kampala.